Hi, welcome to Blockholic. This video is a part of my blockchain basic tutorial. So if you have missed my earlier videos, the details are is already available in the description. Just go ahead and watch those videos if you feel that you need to have a look at of it. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to see a, what a block contains. Let's say we have been talking about the blockchain and all the times we are talking about a block and it has a data and transactions right so in this video i'm gonna show you what a block contains let's see here a block this is how a block looks like every block will have a previous block hash and every block will have a transactions plus hashes and every block will have a nonce I'll explain you what nonce is and every transaction will have a next block hash. So as I told you earlier, so if you are clubbing the block one and block two, that means the second block is preceded by block number one and third block is preceded by block number two. That means all these blocks are connected together. If you see this previous block is referring to the earlier block that means if you have this block you can be able to see the earlier block at the same time you can be able to see the next block that means there is a series of blocks which which you can be able to track the previous block and also the next block that is the reason it is all connected together and forming a chain so the earlier there is a block and this is the current block after that there will be another block that means these blocks are connected together and forming a chain that's why we call it as a blockchain right so this is what a typically a block contains in the block there will be one previous block hash which is the transaction hash of the earlier block and this is the hash of the next next block don't worry about the hash the word i'm using hash i'll be explaining that in the upcoming videos if we take out these two parts there is only two things left that is transactions plus hashes and nonce so what is a transaction plus hashes let's say you transferred some money to me and i transferred some money to someone else so the one what you did to me is one transaction the one what i am doing to the other person is the second transaction so if if our blocks are mined in this particular block then you can be able to see two transactions something like this you can be able to see a uh, one transaction coming from your end to my end and the other transaction from my end to another person so these are the two different transactions all the transactions details will be visible over here in the real transaction hashes and what is a nonce nonce is a actually a random number which satisfies some mining condition so the blocks in the bitcoin blockchain network is mined by the miners if i say miners miners is not actually a person it is a node it is just like another node we have it let's say there are uh, 10 nodes all the 10 nodes can be miners or if they don't want to be a miner that's okay it's it's not compulsory that you need to have a miner but uh, the miner is a person who has the complete database who has the complete blockchain at the same time he don't have any specialized privilege than the other nodes he do have a same privilege what the other people have it but what this guy do the miner do is that he performs some kind of a mathematical calculation which satisfies some condition so we are talking about that earlier so i mean we are going to talk about that in the later videos don't worry about that for now so this nonce they are going to use this nonce as a random number to satisfy the condition okay so this this transaction hash will be generated based on these two the transaction hashes and nonce so if you observe the transactions and hashes won't change let's say there are two miners in the network the miner one and miner two the both the people are going to mine the blocks right so one person has performed some calculation and he said that his block is correct and the other person is also performed some kind of a mathematical calculation and he said it is, his block is correct so what these two people do they broadcast the transactions to the network the network will decide 
whose transaction has to go into the blockchain this we have already discussed in the earlier videos you can go through it if you have missed that point over there so at that point of time this is the only number which makes the difference between the two miners whoever get the best nonce will be the miners and he will be rewarded so we are going to talk about the rewards in the upcoming videos you don't have to worry about it now so how it works is like every block will have a previous block that previous block will point to this block and this block will point to the next block this is how the network this is how the blocks are going to uh, form a chain and build a network called blockchain that's all for this video if you have liked my video please comment below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching